we get to call on him one more time. We get to praise him one more time. We get to pray one more time. We get to one more time. One more time. One more time. He allowed us to come together. One more time. That's what the old saying used to say. One more time. One more time. He allowed us to come together one more time. He allowed us to breathe together one more time. He allowed us to fellowship together one more time. One more time.
text reminds us that not only do we have to believe, not only do we have to belong, but we got to behave. Oh God, hallelujah. And this is where we lose folk. Because most people have a sophisticated unbelief. Oh God, Press it, press it. They're operating in a sophisticated unbelief. Meaning that I pick and choose what I'm going to believe about God's word. And I pick and choose whether or not I'm going to adhere to God's word. And I pick and choose whether or not I'm going to hang out with those who do believe. And I pick and choose whether or not you can chastise me by God's word. And I pick and choose whether or not I'm going to agree with the word or the word of God. I pick and choose whether or not I'm going to belong to the world system. And here's the thing. Most of the time, you're in the world system and you're in the world. Oh God. Oh God. This is so it makes it difficult for you to behave. Oh God. So the world Yeah. So you ain't got to try. 
try to keep stealing and, and swindle nobody out of the blessing that's already yours. Promises are already yours. This is the other thing about this tape that I find fascinating, uh -huh. that he says, I'll give you double for your trouble. He don't even mention double until he talks about trouble. Double don't even come into play until trouble comes around. Yeah. And so some of the stuff that we find ourselves going through, all the stuff that we see, is helping us to get double. Oh it's not that he didn't say, I'm going to double your trouble. He says, for your trouble, I'm going to give you double blessing. He says, for your trouble, you have double everlasting joy. Come on, how can you possibly double the joy, double the grace, double the peace? Double is what's coming to us. Double. You may have peace, but he wants to double it. You may have joy, but he wants to double it. You may feel grace, but he wants to double it. And it ain't always about the material doubling. It's about the stuff that gets you through the stuff. It's about the stuff that's sustaining the stuff. It's about the installation process that makes you and allows you to be able to go through an external stuff. Yeah. 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 So this trouble that you find yourself in, and most of the time, trouble ain't as bad as we make it. Our imagination takes over some of the situations and magnifies that thing and make it worse than it actually is. But if you keep your mind on him, he will keep you in perfect peace. And if you remind yourself of God's word, as opposed to focusing and being frustrated, remind yourself, he said in Philippians, for me to be anxious for nothing, but in everything with prayer and supplication, make my request known, and then the peace that passes all understanding will keep my heart and my mind. My problem is, I won't let him have my mind. Yes. Oh, God. I keep going back and forth in my mind. Oh, God. Oh, God. And so my mind so my body starts doing what I see. And before I know it, I ain't behaving. I ain't behaving. Before I know it, I'm misbehaving. Yeah, I'm misbehaving. I ain't doing this way. But yeah, I, I don't understand how come I can't get the same kind of in his way. That's not how this thing is working. You got to go God's way to get God's favor. You got to go God's way for this double blessing. The children of Israel was God's chosen people. And God had them in captivity at the time. And he says, listen, you're my chosen people, and you will receive a double blessing for your confusion and your shame. All the stuff that you're going through in his name now, they went through the trouble that they went through with folk knowing that they belong to God. Amen. So folk talk about you when you... Amen. She called herself a Christian. All she got to church every Sunday, up and down church every Sunday, every night. Go, and ain't nothing happening, ain't nothing changing. Because uh -huh. worse than I do. Uh -huh. Oh God, we gotta go here. Drink more than I do. Smoke more than I do. Can't come to church because I was so wasted. I couldn't get up. Oh God. I was so out of it. I couldn't get up. Ooh, okay. So, mm. and so we do all of this stuff to pollute ourselves and all this stuff according to the world's standards, and we still call on the name. And calling on the name gets you something because you do. You are a part of the family, but you don't get all your blessings. You're missing out on some stuff. Because you're not operating in the fullness of who he called you to be. So Isaiah reminds us that he says, listen, I got double for your trouble and for your shame. And you keep thinking how long it's going to be and why it's taking so long. And it's been so long now you forgot what it is that God was promising you. They were already God's chosen people. And he says, I'm going to double that. And the way he doubled that is that he sent his son Christ Jesus to die on Calvary's cross. And because Christ came, the rest of us was able to come in. Because Christ came, we were able to be delivered from our sins. Because Christ came, the family got bigger. It wasn't just Israel now. It's a whole other set of family members that are now part of the kingdom because he came. And that double was who doubled the family side. He doubled the blessing. He doubled the grace. He doubled the peace. He doubled the joy. He doubled And we'll get double for our trouble if we learn how to behave. Amen. Keep your mouth off, folk. Stop talking. Ooh. Jesus, help us. Ooh, stop talking about stuff that has anything to do with the advance of the kingdom. Stop talking about folk. Stop talking about things. Stop doing stuff. Stop going places. Stop imagining things that have nothing to do with the advancement of the kingdom in you. 
Because the other part of that is it's Christ in you, the hope of glory. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, as I said, take my seat. To receive the double blessings, you got to behave. You got to belong. You got to believe. Bless you.